I'm your host Barry and this is the 2024 Zinger 211 RD. This is a coach built with couples or solo travelers in mind but here in the rear of the vehicle where we have our living room slash dining room we could potentially sleep a couple of extra people. Our sofa here is a jackknife so it does lay flat to form a bed and the dinette does much the same. The table drops down, the cushions slide out, and we get an additional guest bed. Here in the rear we also have the ability to hook up a TV on the wall. We have a mounting plate location as well as plugs on the ceiling and behind me up high there's a built-in sound bar that comes from the factory. It's Bluetooth capable so it can broadcast to the entire camper. Now this is 30 amp service and it contains a single air conditioner roof mounted and it's a direct dump in here. Now because this is a small trailer at 25 25 feet 4 inches and right around 4,500 pounds dry this thing is really going to cool this down quickly. As we push forward we end up in our kitchen area you can see we have a Furion 12 volt refrigerator here as well as a small pantry to its right. The kitchen itself is compact but it is workable. So we have a microwave up high, a three burner stove with an oven, as well as a dual basin sink storage up high in the form of cabinets and some drawers and cabinetry down low. The bathroom in the Zinger is fairly efficient. It contains a shower that has a tub basin as well as a foot flush toilet and we've got a medicine cabinet up high and a little bit of storage down below the sink. They've given us some other nice features like a little toothbrush and soap holder up on the wall just to get our things up off the countertop. Just past the bathroom we end up in the main bedroom across from our entry door. We have a queen size bed in here with traditional storage travel trailer style on either side in the form of hanging closets. I think that's kind of nice. Up underneath the bed they've foregone the typical big box that you have to lift to get up under and given us kind of an open storage space. There's even some mood lighting in here that we can flip on and give ourselves a little bit of a blue glow. That's pretty nice. Let's pop outside and check out some of the features there. Outside we have a host of features right up towards the front. We have pass-through storage. Up above the pass-through storage you'll notice that the marker lights are prepped for side view cameras. The back is also prepped for a backup camera. This has a full power package. We have power jacks at the front and back. We have a large power awning that's LED lit. It runs out at the touch of a button. And there's marine grade outside speakers that are connected back to the Bluetooth system. We have a solid step entry from Lippert. We have plugs to run a TV or other appliances outside. At the rear of the camper we have a ladder going up to a fully walkable roof and our spare tire is mounted to the square tube bumper. We have a shower right above our sewage system and at the very front of the camper this is equipped with a power tongue jack as well as a battery cutoff switch. Overall the 211RD is a great choice for solo travelers or couples. Being right around 25 feet and about 4,500 pounds dry is small enough and light enough to be towed by a whole host of vehicles and fit into a large variety of spaces and older campgrounds. If you like what you see come on down to Southern RV and visit us and see it for yourself in person. We're right off I-75 in McDonough or you can visit us online at southernrv.com. Give us a call at 770-477-0552 if you have any questions. And please like, subscribe, comment, share. It really helps a small channel like ours. Until next time, happy camping.